Ah, I uh, dragged in another book for him. You're gonna have to buy it then. Uh, what is it? Well, you've heard of uh, Geneva watches, right? Yeah. Well, this is the Geneva Bible. It's a Protestant Bible printed in the year 1583. You know, King Henry basically decided that he wanted a divorce and they wouldn't give it to him, so he basically ended Catholicism in England and started his own religion because he hated his wife that much. Men have been known to do a lot of things for women. Yeah, um, I can't imagine hating somebody that much. <laughs> My name is Adam. I'm coming back to the pawn shop today with a really interesting 16th century English Bible. It's known as the Geneva Bible. It's a really fascinating relic of history and an important book. So I'm asking $1,600. I mean, every copy is unique, and I think that's a reasonable and fair price for it. I don't think I've had one of these in here yet. Can I touch it or? Yeah, absolutely. Go these ahead. These things always scare me because they're fragile. Protestantism flourished in England, but then Mary came to the throne in 1553, and she wanted to revert England back to Catholicism. She banned these Bibles being printed. Yeah, that's exactly right. Didn't she burn out all the Protestants' eyes or something? Bloody Mary, that's it. You, you probably know the drink for sure. I mean, she definitely tortured and persecuted a lot of uh, Protestants. So the Protestants fled to Geneva, which was a refuge for them. And for the first time, really, they translated the entire Bible out of the original languages, Aramaic, Hebrew, and Greek, into an English Bible. And this was the first really accessible Bible that people could read in the English language. So for being that old, I mean, it's in pretty good shape, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's got some condition flaws, for sure. OK. What are you looking to get out of it? I'm looking for a very modest price, I think. It's like 1600 bucks for it. <sighs> They're still rare and desirable because it's an interesting Bible and it's so famous and it has such importance in history. I mean, if your dad was here, he would grab that in a second from me. Um, God, I wish I knew more about this stuff. But let me give Rebecca a call and have her come down and take a look at it. Cool, thanks a lot. That can only help me. She's extremely knowledgeable, and she's going to emphasize the importance and history of the Bible to him. I hope that's enough to sway him. All right, so what is it? I just don't know. I mean, I know it's a Geneva Bible. I know about Bloody Mary. I know about King Henry. But what a Bible's worth these days, I just don't know. I'm really glad Corey called me down. He seems so lost. One thing that we take for granted is that the Bible being translated into English was a revolutionary act for hundreds of years that would get you burnt at the stake. And this revolution affected our English language culture. I mean, this is the Bible that Shakespeare used. I mean, it is kind of funny that they printed it in English in a country where they don't speak English. They actually use smuggling networks to get it into England. So this was contraband. All for a book. That said, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Oh, yeah, it's, right? it's a complicated book. I know. <laughs> That's a very nice way to put it, Adam. First, the obvious thing is we've got the rebacking. So it's been repaired? Yeah, it's just a front joint repair, looks like. It's a little bit crude, I admit. I'm sorry, this repair job, it's so awful. Now let's concentrate on the importance of the Bible and the history. On the one hand, I like these little notes here. This was actually a, a study Bible, and they made little notations in the margins. Yeah, in some ways, those notes were what really upset other theologians, because there's a lot of, like, Protestant philosophy in there that people took issue with. I'm learning a lot today. <laughs> So, Adam, I know you know that this is somewhat common as far as rare books go. Oh, yeah, for sure. I was hoping it would be an impulse purchase. It would have to be in this condition. Sure. So what do you think it's worth? OK. I like the provenance. I like the history. But I think there's just so many other things that are a problem. I think, optimistically, you could try to ask 1500 for it. But let's try it this way. Should I buy it? No. No, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm going to pass. This is the first time you completely shot me down. I can't <laughs> believe it. Maybe she'll buy you lunch, because I'm not buying your Bible. <laughs> yeah. Oh, poor, poor Bible. The Bible has some issues, but we all have issues. Mr. Brown and I got along famously. <laughs> Why he tittled through a pass? I caught the ball myself. It's got a name engraved on it. How did you end up with this? Sounds so fun.